Education. Hey everyone, I'm Tomorrow Sister 4 here, and today we are doing another revisit of Go Vacation. But why is this one so special? Because we're doing this version on the Nintendo Switch. I have been so looking forward to doing this back in 2018 when they first revealed that this was going to be one of the games they brought back from the Wii's library. And I was like, oh my god, I get to actually play this game again? But unfortunately when the game first came out, it was like friggin' $50. And when I first saw this, I thought, yo, could we finally see online like I've been talking about on my playthrough of the game? And at first, I thought that's what we could have had. I thought we could have had something like that, but no, unfortunately, they decided, you know what, nah. Oh, no, frick, I didn't mean to remove them. There we go, wait, can I actually swap the, apparently I can actually swap the breeds now, which is actually sick. Now, oh, that's cool. Oh, but anyway, um. Yeah, and look at that, even more Breeze, even though I'm pretty sure we already got those. So the craziest thing about this is that I'm actually talk, thinking, talking about like taking some photos, looking at some of the messages I've seen, and even daily gifts, which I believe this is what you get when you actually sign into the game. You know, a nice little bonus as in like an incentive to play it. Now. Of course, we will visit the resorts. This will be a pretty lengthy video, like not super long, but you know, just something enough to get a good look at all the resorts in the game. But before we do that, we gotta visit our own villa. So, let's go vacation! And this sucker right here is one of the loading screens for taking photos and such, which is nice. Level 17, baby. But, uh, yeah, there's so many changes between this version and the next that I'd probably, it would probably be best for me to make a whole other video just explaining that. And I probably will in the future because I actually really like talking about this game. It's always nice coming, being able to come back to this game and the fact, the fact that I'm playing or like a remake or no, I don't know, like a remastered version of this game. It's just beyond what, like a welcome addition because like, they added so much to the game to like already pretty decent charm, decent amount of charm. And I'll get to show that off once we get to the resorts. But first, let's get a few uh, crewmates here. Sign them up. Uh, okay, the last guy's over there. Oh, frick. There's one of the changes right now about the food truck. We'll get there after we talk to this guy and we take care of the blessed uh, secret that this villa has to offer. You guys already know what the secret is. I'll, I'll just cut to when it actually plays. But first, let's talk to this guy over here. And then of course we'll get to the food truck since it's like literally right here. Ah yes, the Yukata. And look at that. Part of the seat. Don't kick it. Oh my gosh. So this is the first change they added. The ability to have like food trucks, take photos and everything. I think the photos is probably their biggest addition to the game considering how much they push it around. And there's different types of food and there's activities too. So it's like, this is pretty much their way of changing up the way silver keys work in the game. In the old, in the original game, you have to do like specific activities, challenges, secrets, all that good stuff in order to unlock those silver keys. But here, it's just doing like very simple tasks and stuff like that in order to get them. All right, here we go. Means of actually getting everything. Are you serious? Wh where's the ball? Okay, I was about to say. I'm literally right here, stop. No, stop.
Okay. So we already saw the best one of the best changes they added to this, and of course the classic as well. So first, of course, the snow sword. <laughs> oh, you thought I was gonna waste my opportunity saving city for last again? Are you are you joking? <laughs> now there are extre now about the uh, downsides of the game. They're extremely, just, it ranges from extremely small to a, I understand, to a, wow, they really did that kind of deal. One of the understandable ones is that you don't get to, like, make, like, dog noises or stamps in the loading screen. But that's because there's no IR camera in the game. Like, there's no functionality of it, rather. But, god dang, does this game look beautiful. Everything about this looks so much sharper than I thought. It's nice. Welcome. Anton, Tom, little Eva, Andy, welcome to the snow resort. The next activity I recommend is snowman making. It should be marked on the map, so try it out. Bye for now. We won't be messing with that for now, because I actually do want to try out some of the other activities, like the freaking uh, snowboard races. No, no, snowboard tricks. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead. All right, go. Go! Go! So what's this here? Please. I can't find anywhere! Don't just stand there gawking! Listen to me! <laughs> See, my dad just loves stew! So I was planning on cooking him a delicious one as thanks for all his hard work! After looking up tons of different stew recipes, I found a legendary one called Sparkling Stew, which I figured out where to find the people who have the ingredients, but... Whenever I go out searching for the ingredients, I always end up right back here. Hey, I'm not completely helpless. I've been so much trying to gain the way of my progress on purpose. I haven't collected any ingredients, and now I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> ah, there's someone in the snow resort that can help me get the sparkling stew ingredients. And you have the five stages, but we won't do that. Why not? Didn't your mother tell you to help people when they're in trouble? <laughs> Is that how you respond to someone that just says no? I don't blame you, but god dang. Like, I, I'll... You know what? If y'all want to see this on a stream, let me know. Because I would not mind going back on this game and just playing it a bit. Because there's just way too much to talk about on this game that I can't save on this video without it being potentially like an hour or two long. I can cut it down, of course, but it's like, it won't do a proper justice. Okay, so now I'm just going about everywhere. I just need to find a good spot to find someone who has the activity that I'm looking for. And you know what? We're going to start all the way from the top until we find it. Because that means we get to go all the way down for the snowboard. Yeah, I like that energy already. Come on, let's go. Oh, frick, frick, ah! <laughs> oh my god, it feels so good being back on this game. Oh, frick. I didn't even go for a second one, or maybe I did. Okay, no, I did, I did. The game does buffer your input direction, so be careful not to, uh, potentially mash in another one. Oh my god, it feels so, it feels so good to be on this, though. And the small little vibration still feels pretty great. I thought this was something that they were going to have trouble with with HD Rumble, but no. This just makes it even better. And keep in mind, I think this, I still think the best way to play this game would be like the way you played it on original with the, with the dual Joy-Con separated. But playing with a Pro Controller does still work. It's just, there are some things that you'll still need to use uh, motion controls with, and it'd be best to play it with as close to the original controls as possible. Alright, I'll see you guys when I actually find that activity. Woo! Alright, here we go. Sorry, uh... Snow tricks. So before I do that, 
I'm gonna show you a little bit of the tricks for snowboarding. So, first off is grab, you know, the one where you get to hold. It's the Y button. And the Z, R, C, L buttons. Left and right for the basic turn, for the basic turnarounds. Do this one midair. And then, where you're just like, pretty much just drain out your legs and stuff. You just simply shake the controller. For tweak, you use CL and shake the controller. For one foot, you shake ZR and shake the controller. For a shift, you hold down both while shaking the controller. Well, you guys get the point. Right stick and the C and like, I was gonna say C stick. And the directional buttons all while shaking the controller. That's mainly the general just of how you get tricks in this game. It still works like the original, but, and the coolest part is, you still get multiplayer on this as well. In fact, that's something else I'm con uh, concerning about. How does the game fare when it comes to multiplayer? I know the original had some serious issues with running. When it came to, uh, oh, for it. When it came to doing, like, multiplayer, and it's like... The frame gets chopped down significantly. It's actually insane. Woo! I still got it, baby! Oh frick, I gotta go back up though. Cause like I still I still have like way too too many instances of tricks I've been missing out on. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat the record, but if I, whether I do or don't, this will be the last part thing I do before, um, switch over to the new, to a new resort. I'm pretty sure I'll have at least enough time to do some more tricks. This is gonna take a while. Oh yeah, and to speed up while going downhill, you just hold, hold down, you just hold down the white button now. I remember that you had to tuck in the Wii mode and nunchuck when doing when doing that with both the ski and the snowboard, but here it's just holding down the button. Okay, I'm not gonna get tricks off doing that. Get off. Alright. Oh yeah, I remember this part particularly, because this is when I was cook this is when I was cooking with tricks in my playthrough. Okay, I already beat the score, but oh, come on, come on, come on! I just need a frick. I didn't get to one thousand, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna go to the new resort. Uh, let's go to the Marine Resort. I know I'm not using like sunset, nighttime, and all the cool stuff. I'm saving the sunset and nighttime for the Mountain and City Resort. You're gonna love, love seeing the city at night. Again, because I know I do. Frick, I forgot about the food truck. Yeah, my bad, guys. I said I was gonna do the food truck part, and I didn't even do that. That's okay. Brought dog to all resorts and villas. See what I mean? And a level up too. With a nice silver key. Frick, frick, frick. Okay. I can't just hold down the button anymore. I can't hold down the stick to break. Oh, but seriously, I really wish that they had at least a way to sprint or something. They made the AI faster. But you can't get to that point. Alright. Let's see what you got. Oh, shish kebabs? Oh, say less. To move the camera, you use the left stick. All right, but, yo, this, this is nice. Press the X button and you just like, oh my God. You just add like extra emotions and everything. And you can even ask for seconds. And just go through the same procedure for like pictures and everything. Now, 
Where can... Wait, I know exactly where to go. I need to find a loc... I forgot what the location is. But I know the place is called Mystic Jungle. If I can find Mystic Jungle, that's where we'll go for the... Beautiful water gun mini game where we actually have one of the change one of the new changes to the game ah, Frick I forgot where mystic jungle is though cuz I like I, I'm in near the area. Oh, well shoot there it is <laughs> I was like, oh wait, where I forgot where I was at. I was like here we go. All right, but anyway Here we go the water gun mini game or right actually And we all get to play, except Hachi, because he can't hold a gun. Oh my gosh. And I remember, on this one particularly, they actually have different... Wait. Oh yeah, so that's what that was. Okay, so context. When I first played this, I thought I was going to be a little disappointed with the fact that I can't aim the controller, the camera vertically. Finding this out... It actually is able to do that, but I have to use the gyroscope, which is fine. Like, it's not really a complaint. Basic water fight at Sunshine Beach. A battle. Oh, shoot. We even have tag match now? I'm pretty sure that was always, that was already a thing. But if that's new, that's actually pretty sick. All right, so gyroscope from... So gyroscope for moving and the right stick. I don't know why we can't just use the right stick for everything, but it's fine. Like it, it's not it's not the worst thing. I do like how the, the gyroscope feels at least. So or Betty, I wish we could just use full gyroscope too, because like we already have other games that do it. Back up, back up. No. Oh frick. So to do the mystic evade button, it's just the white button now. And once again, the AI is still all targeting you the second you get a lead. If someone happens to be shot, it's just because they're in a the way. It's a bit disorienting, I'll be honest. Like, it, it, I'm glad they actually have the option for vertical controls, but... I just kind of wish they went all the way with one or the other and not try to do a mix of both. Frick. Your health still regenerates over time, so have at it with potential camping. And the music's still freaking great. Which I think no, no I'm pretty sure I already said that. It's just that like I was actually really concerned that they weren't going to have Nanko Music Saloon in this game. Let the Music Saloon uh, soundtrack in the game because of the fact that, like, when I first started this game up, I heard a completely different sound. And I thought, oh no, they have to use royalty free versions of music now. And I was like, I thought that I was it. Like, it was over. The overcast was just going to be uh, reduced to only royalty free music at that point. But no, got to know I was wrong. Steal that from you real quick. Take this. You've been sitting very comfortably over here, Louisa. Get over here. Oh, Fred. Very comfortably. Oh, you saw. Yeah. Give me that point. I'm sorry, it's just like, it's, um, between the music, the way that, how unorthodox the camera feels when trying to up and down a little bit. Dude's running to me, relax! Oh, crap. Ah! I just need one more point, one more point, alright, I'm, I'm out. I really hope I get multiplayer working on this sucker. Like, to some degree. If I can get multiplayer on this, it'd be so... Or pretty much just find anyone who still wants to play this game. It'd be so freaking great. You have no idea. Now, there are... Now, of course, I did mention this before. There are a few downsides. Uh, for one, 
some mini games. Uh, I can't stop calling them mini games. I mean, I think you get what they are, but uh, some activities actually have been removed, in the sense that, like, well, see, we can't make them work with the way we have the game now. So instead of trying to make it work like a control stick or anything, we just decided to omit them entirely. Some of them I've actually never played, so I can't really say I'm too oh frick that I'm too sad about that, but. It's just like, I kind of wish I knew about that beforehand, because now it's like, what 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 did they cut out? What did they take out? I know they took out a sailboat thing, and I know they took out a fan favorite, the lightsaber, the pretty much the saber draw thing, the saber draw match activity in the city resort. It was actually pretty cool, because like, think of uh, the fencing game in Wii Sports Resort. It was basically that, with a few restrictions. But that was basically what it was. And it was so much fun actually messing around with that. However, they did add some fishing to the game. Which is already a massive improvement to the game's quality. Because now, you're able to freaking go out and fishing at your own leisure. Something other games be are begging to have in their own games. Just begging. Oh frick. Ah, ah, ah. I didn't forget the techniques, but unfortunately, it's a little it's a little difficult to work because now I have to use the right stick and shake the controller at the same time. Uh, how do you go in the submarine mode? I think it was yeah. There you go. I don't know the full controls of all the gear if that wasn't clear. All right, on to the mountain resort. At sunset. I think the next time I play this, I'm gonna try this with both joy with the dual joy con setup instead. The next activity is kayaking. Actually, that will be my activity. That's what I'll do. Now let's see. Before I do that, because I have no idea where yet. Oh, it's all the way at the top. Okay. Looks like I was going there anyway. Off-road car. Oh yeah, you can actually use the left stick to actually get people to follow you this way. I believe you can get people on here. I want them to ride the vehicle, but it's a li it's a little difficult to do it in this game for some reason. Like. It used to be easy to do. I don't know if it's like... No, it's not the gestures. None of those. Nope, nothing. I guess they just can't do that anymore. Uh, but there's basically like a team kayaking activity. It's not, this is, this is not the one. It's a team version, but I guess I'll just use this anyway. After we actually go down. <gasps> you know what? Can we do two people on a kayak though? There has to be a way. Up. Oh, come on. Someone has to get in here. Anyone? Anyone at all? Oh, you have to press X. I'm dumb. I forgot. It was because I have to use X. Oh my gosh. And again. They just make it so you just tap Y to, uh, get going. Alright, Hashi, stay back. Because we're going to be going to a territory where no living creature has gone before. Let's go down, baby! Woohoo! Come on, man. Put a little more effort in the, in the strokes, though. Yes, yes. That's what I like to see. Let's go. That synergy at play. God, it just feels so good to be able to go through this, and it's crystal clear glory. And this is, I, I believe this game is actually at full 1080p as well, so it's like an even bigger bonus that I get to look at this game. It was actually pretty nice on like on the Wii. Keep that in mind, this is on the Wii, not when you were like the way I played on the playthrough. Where I actually did get a little bit of a improvement on 
like the brightness and all that. No, this this sucker is full like textures and everything. I love it. Oh my god, let's go! Just such good kayaking, man. And it's like there's like four there's like four player versions of this. And like once I get some people that actually play this round, play this with me, it's gonna be so it's probably gonna be so much more fun doing that with other people. So it's already fun doing it like this, but when we get more people involved, it's gonna be better. But yeah, I really hope Hachi didn't jump into this water because I don't think he would have survived off for all this. I don't think he would have survived off the first bit because that was a waterfall, and for him, that'd probably be like a, a bit of a drop to say the least. All right, look at those turns. Get those turns going. We can't jump in the kayak, unfortunately. Here, I don't think there's really much you can do. Like, I know in the four-player version, there's ones where you can give instructions to uh, the, the other players, but here, there's nothing. Oh, frick! <laughs> okay, okay. We got a little bit more to go. Alright, I know this video is starting to get a little bit long already, but, like, I'm sorry, it's just, it's just, it's just one of those, like, it's like those small things about this game. Like, not even the main thing being the freaking activities, it's just, like, doing stuff like this, and then they add more stuff to actually add to, like, the, like, the side parts of it. And the, the fact that they made it much more, I mean, much easier to get silver teeth means that the customization on the build -up might actually go crazy, but... Again, if y'all want to see a stream of all that, just let us know. Because I will definitely be cooking with some customization when it comes to uh, doing streams on this. Because I already know some of y'all got some cool ideas for what the game has to offer in terms of presets. And then that's the thing. I don't even know if they even add any more presets or not. And if they did, that'd be sick. But it's not easy figuring out the current. Sometimes you need to stop paddling and let the water carry it. It feels great relaxing and na letting nature wash over you. So keep my tips in mind and enter a kayaking activity. We'll head out as soon as you're ready. You stay and watch, in a watch the place while you're gone, Tom, Lil Eva, and Hachi. And we're doing more river solemns because, yes. It's still pretty easy to understand how they want me to do this. See? Okay. Oh, frick. Rock! Rock! Okay, I didn't miss it. I don't know if you can actually... Like, this is something I actually me remember seeing someone talk about when they were doing, like, a stream of Go Vacation themselves. Like, someone was mentioning that you can, like, actually angle the kayak. Let's see. No, you can't. I honestly, it would be pretty cool if you could, or maybe I wasn't holding the right controller, like, button for it. Maybe it was the right stick. I don't know, but, like, they were talking about how you could basically, uh, save yourself from potentially missing the last flag if you balance yourself before landing on that final fall. I was say, I was in there. But you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the freaking Monkey Boat mini game in Super Monkey Ball 2. And I already know that if they added that in Banana Mania, I'm gonna be all for that when that comes out in October. Cause the fact, the fact that a lot of these activity games, activity-based games are coming back is actually pretty nice. I kind of wish they came back earlier, but you know, some, like pandemic, all that good, like pandemic, just like, uh, creative conflicts, I'll say, and a bunch of other, bunch of other like nonsense involved in the industry just kind of makes it difficult for anyone to really see that coming to light. And I really could have made it into a sub -tale. I'm hoping things will get sorted out by then, because 
this kind of doing stuff like this feels great. It's actually pretty awesome. Alright, that's a new stamp for the books. And there's 13 left. Yeah, it, it, this isn't blind or anything, obviously. Neither by the standards of the game itself, or just freaking messing around with the game in general. I think I said that twice already, but it don't matter because now we are here to get into the final resort. Wait, hold on a second. Oh my gosh! No, stop, 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 stop. Yes, okay, let me see. Uh, back up a little bit. Oh. Duration fever. I won't save it to the album yet. I think once you get to a certain point and you have to save like multiple variations of the same animal, that is when it gets put into the console's album. But we're not worried about that now, are we? No, sir. No, man. No person. We are here. For the city resort at night. I can't. Oh, hold on. Let me try this again. For the city resort at night. Look at how beautiful it all is in this version. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. The towers. Oh my god. Playing this in the nighttime with the. With the like car and everything. However, we're not going to do the car activity. No. Because of a certain playthrough, we're going to do this the right way. Let's go. Yeah, baby. This is nice practice for Jet Set Radio, but I'm pretty sure this is entirely unrelated, but I don't care because I am definitely. Yeah. Gonna be enjoying this for every bit. There's the pyramid, which I think they actually took out the boosters in this version. I don't know why, but they did it. Look at my boy Hachi go! Look at him go! Look at him go! Oh, there it is. I, I, was, talk, I was talking about the wrong tower. Alright, here we go. And of course, more of that beautiful music saloon. I already opened up that treasure chest. That's fine. Woohoo! Nice. Yeah, baby. guy just the just the rush of doing all this again it's all coming it's all coming back to me at a slow pace being honest but you know frick yes sir got shine every day Alright, that's enough. Uh, I had enough rum medicine for today. Now, I know the glass... I'll save the glass up for last, because that is actually a new activity, relatively speaking, for me here. Because, you know, different controls and all that. Where I'm going to go to is the grind, is the grinding activity. That's, is, this is the one I want to get involved in. I know, and I know exactly where to find that. Uh, the whole rate, the whole like broadcasting thing with the PA, and it's just the ambiance is back. Of course, they put in all the Namco stuff involved too. Because why the heck wouldn't you? Ah, oh, come on, what's the big deal? I want to be the Grindmaster act in the Grindmaster activity too. You're killing my buzz, dude. Hey, you, teach me the secret for to grinding for a long time. 
This guy won't let me be in the grind master activity until I learn how, but I'll show him. Oh, wait a minute. I have to see how good you are before I can start treating you like a role model. Let's test your skills in the grind master. I'll be watching. Good luck. I just know you're going to show us some amazing tricks. You can watch with me, Tom Little, e Tom Little Eva, Andy Hachi. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, yes. The grind master activity. I'm gonna just stick with this because, like, I I'm I'm not gonna be jumping too crazy in this, and I do want to end this off with the glass harp. I know this video is already getting long, so we're we're just gonna roll with this. Of course, the grind master activity involves you grinding without falling. Second, you get on, it's all a matter of just jumping on. Now, this will be much easier to do since all you have to do is just press the button, as opposed to just having to shake right before uh before potentially falling off. That being said, you can also balance yourself with the control stick. So, a lot of what made a lot of a lot of the challenges in this game are pretty much made dummy easy with just playing like a normal game which isn't a bad thing but i will admit some of the interesting parts of the game were definitely from the motion controls and while they did try to preserve as much of as they could on a pro controller again i'm only saying this because i'm on a pro controller i think if i play this on a dual joy cons my opinion on that will change but you know, it, it, it just don't, right now, it just don't beat the original. It doesn't. But that's not, but that's not saying much considering this game is already a masterpiece. I hope more people get to play it too. It, it, it's just that nice. Alright, time for the big finisher. Welcome. I hope you're enjoying your stay at the city resort. Here at the Yigur, uh, the Yigurusil Central Hotel, we hold live performances of the Glass Harp. Four guests are assigned each part, a part of the Glass Harp, to create one seamless performance. Please do consider joining the ensemble. Amidst all the high energy activities offered at the resort, it's nice to take a break and relax with the gentle sounds of the Glass Harp. Step right this way to learn more. Now, now, Hachi. I think it'd be best if you watch the performance here with me. So, ZL and ZR. And you gotta hold the note. When you see a music note with a long tail, keep the hold up on until the tail disappears. Okay. So, it's just two buttons? I'm assuming that third one's gonna be a combination of the two. Which will make sense. But if it's not, that's gonna be, uh... Eh, I guess. Keep playing until you reach pro rank. Oh, and you can switch which one you play. All right, cool. I'm pretty sure this was something you can also do in the original though, so. Whatever. All right, shh.
Nice. Yes. How did you enjoy it? There's something unique about playing the glass harp, wouldn't you agree? Please do stop again sometime. I'll be waiting. Anton, you set a new record. And I'll have two more activities in this area. This way. Of course, power hitter. Alright, but no, that's it. That is the end of the video. I gotta say, it was a nice trip back into playing this again. It is just so, it was just so much fun going back on this. And now that multiplayer, oh, wrong one. And now that multiplayer has a chance of coming into the, into play, it's going to be so freaking great on this. Alright. So with that being said, uh, this will be it for the video. I, this is Atorius Support Center. So thank you guys for watching. Again, and I'll say this one more time. If y'all really want to see this being streamed, Please let me know, because I would have no problem with streaming this game. And with that being said, until then, or like until the next Jet Set Radio part, uh, I will see... Oh, I gotta hold it like this. I will see y'all later. Have a good one.